Hello, this is a short informative video about volcanic hazards. Volcanoes have always been affecting human civilization. In November 13th of 1985, the Nevado del Ruiz volcano in Colombia erupted. Pyroclastic flow exploding from the crater melted ice caps forming lahars and volcanic mud flows that cascaded into the river valleys below. One lahar traveling at 20 feet per second destroyed 13 villages killing over 20,000 people. There are several different volcanic hazards. In this video, we will talk about lahars, change in weather conditions, tsunamis, ashfall, pyroclastic density currents, and lava. Lahars are a mixture of rock debris and water that are caused by volcanoes. These hazards are often considered among the most destructive because they move fast, sometimes as much as 25 feet per second. These lahars can occur at any time after an explosion and can be triggered by things such as rainfall and the waters of acidic lake spilling out over broken or cracked wall. Because these, these lahars can occur at any time without warning, they pose a threat to human civilization. Entire villages could potentially be buried beneath a lahar. Volcanoes can release enough aerosols and gas to cover the skies and block enough sunlight to cool the Earth's surface temperature by several degrees, leading to changes in both weather and climate. This occurred with the 1815 Tambora volcano and the 1783 Lackey Fissure. The eruption's impact led to loss of crop and cattle, which in turn led to many deaths from famine. Tsunamis can be one of the most dangerous hazards resulting from a volcanic eruption. Tsunami can result from a variety of processes associated with shallow underwater eruptions or eruptions at coastal volcanoes. In 1883, the collapse of the island of Krakatua during a Plinian eruption created an undersea caldera roughly 8 kilometers wide, simultaneously generating a monstrous sea wave that killed more than 36,000 people. Now for ashfall. Drifting ash particles will enter machinery and cause engines to lock and damage both metal and glass. Ten inches of ash accumulation on roofs will cause them to rapidly collapse. Ash will clog water systems and leach substances into water supplies that are hazardous to people using the water. PDCs, or pyroclastic density currents, like lahars, are among the most dangerous of hazards. PDCs are made up of superheated rock debris and gases that are known as tephra. Tephra can cause external burns through physical contact and internal burns and suffocation through inhalation. These pyroclastic flows can travel over 100 kilometers an hour. Few people survive PDCs, which can be seen in the case of Mount Pelé's eruption at Martinique, where only two of the 30,000 people survived. Lava is molten rock expelled by volcanoes during eruptions. Lava has hot temperatures ranging from 1,292 to 2,192 degrees Fahrenheit. Lava flows are usually slow, to which people and animals have enough time to escape. However, lava flows can speed up down steep slopes and cause destruction. For example, in Naira Gongo and the Democratic Republic of Congo, on the night of January 10, 1977, lava flow sped down a steep slope, overwhelming sleeping residents at night. This is a reenactment of the eruption of Mount St. Helens to demonstrate how destructive a model volcano can be. Warning, the following experiment is not meant to be reproduced by the viewers.